Hey guys, um, just making another follow-up video on the first video. Uh, I, the first video was on investing in Bitcoin and how to do that from Hawaii and uh, using the uh, Bitstamp exchange. It's one of the only exchanges that I've found uh, that allow you to um, sign up for the site and to deposit money in the site being from Hawaii. Uh, Coinbase and Bittrex and some others will um, automatically shut your account down um, in Hawaii because of a law that our uh, DCCA um, has put into effect which pretty much makes it impossible for any exchange to operate in Hawaii. Uh, Bitstamp is one of the largest that's in the UK and I covered that in the previous video. So if you want to see step by step how to invest in Bitcoin from Hawaii, uh, you can check that video out. Um, this video is going to be on how to move your money from Bitstamp, the Bitstamp exchange, to a wallet. And uh, for this purpose of this video, I'm going to be doing the Exodus wallet. It's uh, out of all the different wallets. I do have a ledger uh, with that's completely cold storage wallet, but uh, I do like the Exodus wallet because it provides some kind of security uh, on a desktop and allows you the freedom to convert your cryptocurrency into altcoins and other things like that. So um, so today I'm just going to go over how to move your money from uh, your Bitstamp exchange to your wallet. And um, I, I went over it in the previous video, um, but Bitcoin is one of the safest ways to store value. Um, exchanges are not. And because there's so many smart people in this space, hackers and whatnot, uh, exchanges get hacked all the time so uh, Bitcoin itself is very secure it's very safe exchanges are not and so whenever you do an exchange you want to take your money or your um, your coins and get it off the exchange um, I never leave money on it, any exchange no matter how safe or secure they say that they are uh, because there's always going to be someone that's smarter that knows how to hack that system um, so, so anyway, let's jump into it. Um, I use the Exodus wallet and I'll cover that in the next video. Um, we're going to talk about wallets and uh, why I use Exodus wallet and how you can convert your Bitcoin into other cryptocurrencies. Um, so, but today we're just going to go over how to transfer money off of your Bitstamp um, exchange and also how to secure your exchange. So the first thing I'm uh, or two-step authentication process within your account. So uh, after you open your account and you fund your account, that was on the previous video, uh, you want to authentic, you want to secure your account with a two-step authenticator. So you're going to click on account and you're going to come here and you're going to go to security. So security uh, is going to, you can see that security is enabled. Um, but it's going to say disabled and uh, enable your two-step authentication. Um, so when you, when you do that, before you do that, you're going to have to go to your phone. And from your phone, um, go to your app store and your app store will, um, when you get to your app store, you're going to type in uh, authenticator and um, you're going to find an authenticator app. Uh, I like to use Google and so I've already downloaded that but you're gonna have to download it and then open it once you open it you can see different accounts that I have that are part of that but you're gonna go to the top right hand press the plus button go to the bottom click scan barcode and this will pop up so when that pops up um, what you're gonna do is um, when you enable, I'm not going to go through the process with you because then you're going to see my uh, QRC barcode and I don't want to do that. So uh, this QRC barcode will pop up and what you're going to do is you're going to scan that barcode with this app on your phone and when you scan it, um, that, will in, that will pull your Bitstamp account into this authenticator app and that authenticator app will sync with uh, this account on Bitstamp and it will uh, allow you to 
have a verification code every time it asks for it. So, uh, so what that will look like when you scan it, um, a new the bitstamp uh, will appear on your Authenticator app with uh, with the code there that you can enter anytime it asks for it. So that is how you do the two-step authentication. Um, after you do the two-step authentication, then you're going to want to pull your money out of your account. Um, and to do that, you're gonna go withdraw. So you click withdraw, and you're going to want to withdraw your Bitcoin and put your Bitcoin into your Bitcoin wallet. So um, clicking on Bitcoin, um, you're going to need a Bitcoin address and you only have a Bitcoin address if you have a Bitcoin wallet. So one thing important to note is that you cannot cross, um, you cannot deposit Bitcoin into like a Bitcoin cash wallet or Bitcoin into a Ripple wallet or Ripple into Bitcoin, it has to be like for like. If you do do that, you could lose your money. And so, um, and I've lost a little bit of money um, trying to do that and it was so dumb. So anyway, but um, so the next step is you're gonna go to Exodus and you're gonna download, um, so Exodus IO, you're gonna download whatever platform you have. Um, and when you download it, you're gonna run it on your computer. Um, when you run it on your computer, uh, you're only gonna be able to get your keys and your backup after you make your deposit. So um, this is what the Exodus wallet looks like. Um, you're gonna click on wallet and there's gonna be a whole bunch of different um, uh, cryptocurrencies that you can deposit into. Um, so for this purpose, we're just going to look at Bitcoin. So it's going to have sending and receiving. Because this wallet is going to receive your funds, you're going to click receive. And with receive, this is the destination that you're going to put into uh, the place that you're sending it from. So you're going to copy this address. From copying that address, you're going to go back to your Bitstamp account. You're going to put that address into uh, the destination. You can um, you can label it. That's optional. And then put the amount that you're transferring. And this is the about, amount not of US dollars. This is the amount of Bitcoin. So, you know, whatever amount you're going to put in. And then you're going to put in your two-step factor authentication code and so the way that you do that is you go to your app that is on your uh, phone and you are going to put whatever it is uh, there into the verification code and then withdraw so when you do that it's going to take some time um, with when you buy bitcoin the processing time is absurdly long so don't uh, freak out if the, the funds don't hit your account instantly. It might take an hour, um, sometimes up to five hours, depending on how busy the network is, uh, but it will get there. And what I, I really recommend you doing is doing it with a small amount first and just to test it. Um, so send the money and then as you send the money, um, you're gonna be waiting for it to hit your wallet and as soon as it hits your wallet, you know that it worked, and then uh, go ahead and do the full amount that you wanna put within your wallet. So hopefully that was helpful, and um, if I'm gonna be adding more videos uh, step by step. Um, my next video is going to be how to uh, use the shape-shifting feature um, in your wallet, and then what are the types of wallets that exist and, and um, you know what's the best for your purpose so that's going to be the next video uh, hit subscribe and if you like these videos and uh, I am making uh, I'm, I'm having fun making them so hopefully uh, you're having fun watching it so until next time uh, take care God bless peace <laughs>